And um, yeah, I'm just relaxing with you guys today. Just talking to you guys about crypto and why I think um, Polkadot may see some really good uh, attention and love in the upcoming years and can potentially even flip Ethereum. God damn. God damn. <laughs> Um, now, I know that sounds crazy, but let's talk a little bit deeper as to why that may not be as crazy as it sounds. Now, first of all, we're just going to start off with what made Ethereum great. And we know that that is smart contract. In the very same way that smart contracts um, brought life into the ecosystem, into decentralized peer-to-peer -peer networks um, as it relates to collaborative building, and not just you know transmitting funds or transmitting files <laughs> um, but collaborative building um, polka dot is having a is going to have an ethereum like um, innovation craze because of its level it's another level of interconnectivity of course let's talk about the blockchain trilemma we know that decentralization security and scalability these three um, concepts that usually can't be achieved at the same time so you can usually have good security and decentralization but there you go you're lacking on speed um, which is what we know of as ethereum today you know we have decentralization and we know it's cryptographically secure because it, you can't necessarily break the ethereum protocol per se <laughs> um, but but then we know the speed sucks and then we know it it becomes costly to to get things done as fast as you want it done because gas prices go up you have to wait so much longer if you want to get your your cheaper um, um um transactions through so ethereum is that an example of that now we have some l1s that pop up today that tr bring some security and um, they bring security and speed, but they're centralized and centralization is what leads to collusion of power and all the issues. So it's, we don't want those either. Even though they are faster, they make us feel nice, they make us feel good, they're cheaper. It still is fundamentally the same problem. We don't want to have the same problems of web two and web three. So Polkadot actually resolves this. Um, by its structure first of all it is decentralized and um now the grand vision of it is to be decentralized and of course we're, i believe they're starting off with a hundred parachains that will first connect to their relay chain and after that has been fully fleshed out they're looking to expand even more um, but even this hundred um chains themselves is pretty that's a hundred times more chains than we have um generally speaking than ethereum you know re really and truly these people are using smart contracts um to build the entire product around but it's still running on the ethereum blockchain um so this is why we can see um so even the first hundred chains are still pretty it's still a good amount of power and value that can be brought from polka dot so now let's talk a little bit about the fundamentals of polka dot itself that i really think will lead to it just going ballistic and one of those things we've already kind of talked about but you know what let's talk about the fact that it's using custom blockchain code which is like substrate so in polka dot there's a relay chain and then there are para chains each project that's building on the polka dot ecosystem will have a para chain and there are other options but for now let's just stick with para chain i will do a deep dive into polka dot so don't worry about it so these um individual para chains are, are not like ethereum they're not like what you've seen traditionally in cryptocurrency where you have you know everyone just building a smart contract on top of the ethereum blockchain and whatever ethereum comes with whatever bitcoin comes with um that's kind of what you have to work around well no what substrate is it's a particular language that allows you to build these blockchains in a customizable code in a with, with customizable code um which means it's kind of like a lego blocks but for blockchain you can literally like piece together different things that make sense for what you're trying to do so if you're trying to build a blockchain ecosystem that is good around DeFi, like akala and i'm gonna shout out my boy dan i have to shout out akala if i'm making a polka dot video 
because uh yeah dan is a very cool guy met him in puerto rico we had a great time and um yeah so if you're, if, for example, Akala, they have a very interesting implementation because they have a custom-built DeFi blockchain, substrate-based blockchain, and it's optimized for DeFi such that the primitives of that blockchain, the the um, the the core utilizations, the core aspects of that blockchain itself allows for building of tools like DEXs and and stable coins and it's it's an ecosystem that's custom built a blockchain network that's custom built for DeFi use cases so so this is why i say polkadot itself will have a an explosion of projects building on it because now you may want all the DeFi product people with different unique DeFi ideas that did not exist before um now that there's a custom chain that can allow for it um, well now they all want to build on akala and we have this huge boom of DeFi on akala um polka DeFi, right and then you have um let's say the let's say you have a uh, centrifuge now they're building a custom parachain that is around real world assets so their network is going to be fine-tuned to that sort of ecosystem and then we have origin trio dealing with the decentralized knowledge graph and the google glue and of course their parachain is going to have the the special like graph contracts and all the unique um utility that all of polka dot will benefit from because it's going to be the google of polka dot so this is why i'm saying i think polka dot is 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 like a hundred ethereums <laughs> it's like a hundred ethereum launches and um and i think and there are even and that's and that's just the individual blockchain networks the value that the networks themselves bring just by being custom you understand what i'm saying so then i move into okay well i look at the fact that composability um, basically the ability to use each other's network is even greater because because of something called XEM which is um, I, I, of course I will do a polka dot deep dive but let's just for now say it's a communication that allows for assets to be transmitted in on polka dot any kind I mean like data assets at the data level and we're talking about asset assets like tokens and assets NFT assets like you can just move them between blockchains <laughs> different blockchain networks so we're talking about like um, a different level of network effects which is different than Ethereum because Ethereum you kind of always had to like bridge all the stuff you have to like build all these different bridges and this and that now bridges do exist in polka dot there are bridges for certain things but by default the parachains themselves can um, communicate and share all the cross-chain data which by the way recently went live so the age of polka dot is dawning so this is why i say composability of the network itself the assets composability of the assets data everything and the even the blockchains themselves are composable to one another <laughs> i mean come on this is a this is a different ball game we're talking about here now and so and i didn't want to make this video too long so one of the last things i'm really going to talk about is the timing now this is just maybe one of the maybe this is probably one of even the more powerful points to make because the timing at which XEM is going has gone live, which is now, the timing at which the parachains are starting to plug into um, Polkadot, which is taking place right now, like June 4th, Origin Trail, the project I love, the project I build with, the project I'm working with, that's going live um, June 4th. So now is the time where we're seeing all of the polka dot stuff going live. And what? What 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 what, what is this thing about time? Well, the point is that look at Ethereum. It's not in any position to absorb global adoption. It's really not. It, it, we can say whatever we want, but it's not. As soon as we see th those transactions, I mean, come on. Um, what's the name? Um, Board Apes, when they did their other lands or other siders, um, um, NFT Mint or their project, when they launched it, gas prices go insane. You know, you're spending two, two, two Ethereum and such. Gas prices on the network can can spike and go absolutely insane. 
So this is why I say um, we are not ready to adopt the global scale of data, the global. But if Polkadot launches, which it is, and it is stable and XCM is working and all of these things working at this time where Ethereum is still trying to release Ethereum 2. And well, we already see that we have some pretty big government initiatives taking place on Polkadot like MediLedger. And um, I think that if it works and it's scalable and of course the blockchain trilemma is solved, we have speed, security, decentralization throughout this time period. Meanwhile, Ethereum is still trying to get themselves situated. Well, what's going to happen is there's going to be a, a lot of building, a lot of shops set up on Polkadot. Everybody's going to be already, government bodies are already going to be looking at what they can get into now because look at all the adoption taking place now. Look at all the news around Bitcoin and crypto taking place now. They're going to want something that can get the job done and be legit about it, not just from now, but 20 years from now. Which leads me to another final point. I know I said that was my final point before, but we Polkadot has Gavin Woods. Now, again, this is not I hate and I, and I hate Ethereum video. Not at all. I am actually still bullish on both. I want both of them to succeed because we need both ecosystems to sharpen each other. That's how technology works. You have Microsoft, but you also have Apple. You know, you need all of them. But I definitely think that Polkadot has taken the 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 advantage in the race. Um, it's just a matter of getting to that point of full decentralization. So let me know if you guys what you guys think about this video. I really enjoyed um, sitting down here and just talking about my ideas on what Polkadot is and what I think they're gonna do. Like, share, and subscribe because I think I'm gonna be doing more research like this into the every project on Polkadot and give you guys some of the really nice um, projects that I think will have lasting effects because um, every project on Polkadot, I believe right now, even if you didn't get in four years ago, um, two years ago, a year ago, um, I think it's still very early for, like very, very early for all of Polkadot. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do as we expand and get into um, Polkadot.